Back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos, and we are heading over to Streetcar Takeover Bradenton to run the Hellcat. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We have tons of content coming up this week. We're doing a Streetcar Takeover Bradenton tonight. We start sick week on Sunday. We're going to be racing for five or six days straight, and then we have the Compact Series at the Freedom Factory. So I'm going to be pumping out tons of content over like the next seven, eight, nine, ten days, and it's going to be a lot of racing, which obviously is in my heart, and I love to do it. I've got Dr. Pepper and Ruby behind me. Dr. Pepper, the train is coming out tonight. We got to rebuild it tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, when we were testing yesterday, we burned up the clutches and the high gear. What's happening is the linkage, let me show you, that came off of it is flexing so much. And I made this little sleeve on there to try and help make it more solid. But when I'm shifting from first to second, it's not going all the way into second. The trans fluid pressure is super low, causing the clutches to burn up. So we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna rebuild it again. If y'all know, I've got this system down packed for being able to pull the trans in this car. I think I've done it at least a dozen times since I got the car in April. So we're gonna make quick work of it. We're racing tonight at Streetcar Takeover Bradenton at Bradenton Motorsports Park. And uh, it's gonna be some great content for y'all. So make sure you tag along. All right, we're pulling on the scales. See what the Hellcat weighs. Oh, 4660. <laughs> oh! Heavy one. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. All right, I didn't show you all this, but here's the wrap finally finished up. Got the red, white, and blue. Got the 315s to make this thing come alive. I had 275s on the rear, but we had these NT01s laying around that are 315s. Should give me a little more traction in the rear on this thing. And uh, yeah, there's the finalized wrap. It looks like my my inner 17-year-old is coming out in this car. I think I need to do subs and underglow next. Why not, right? All right, we're going into the 130 class. I ran a 132, so I got to be careful. I can't break out and do more than 5 to 10 mile an hour over that speed. Otherwise, I'm kicked out of the class. So I'm at the top of the class. We'll see how we do. George is in my class again. So maybe he and I will battle it out in the end. We'll see. Let's move on to some Mustang content because we 
start pulling the trains and getting this thing rebuilt before sick week because we're having that line pressure issue again. All right, let's do it. All right, y'all, it's 6.30 in the morning on Saturday, and we check in for race week tomorrow, and Sam and I are about to pull the transmission and Dr. Pepper because while everyone else is sleeping, we're trying to get a couple steps ahead, and we believe that we did the same thing we did last time and burned up the trans in high gear because uh, it's just not shifting right. So we're going to pull it and rebuild it. He's got a guy local that's going to help us out, Steve, and uh, let's get this thing pulled out. First look guys, burned up the band just a little bit. Drum's looking pretty decent. And, uh, definitely having that line pressure issue again. So glad we're diving in here before we start sick week. All right guys, we're over here at Steve's shop. He got us taken care of this morning and we traced it back to the valve body. So the issue is, hold that. This pin, this is like gears, right? Huh? This pin right here, we're having issues with? Yep. I mean, it, it, you can't even, pull it out or push it in smoothly. So we're gonna get the valve body changed out. We're gonna get the glide back together, gear bender back on, and get it slapped back in the car. So let's do it. All right guys, Steve from Champion Racing Transmissions helped us out to get the transmission back together. What ended up happening is we weren't getting our one-two shift and it was binding up in between gears because of an issue with the valve body. So he helped us out. We got a new valve body in the car, new clutches and, uh, and a new band, right? new band so we got the transmission back in new fluid everything's looking good so hopefully this is the only time we're going to be pulling the transmission on this week because as you all know in the past i haven't had good luck with them but we feel like we're feeling really confident about this now the car's a lot better off than it has been going into other race weeks so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe like leave me a comment and we'll see you on the next episode because we are checking into sick week tomorrow as a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only $39. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's Basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush out every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.